So we just had a conversation with uh, Ronald, he works here, about this flag and what it symbolizes in America. And I know that there are a lot of white people out there that feel like that heritage is okay, but for us it is a symbol of hate. And um, it's not something that we would care to really see like that. Yeah, and it's really interesting when we came here, you can see that it has a very Americana feel um, with the, with the, the cars. old cars. Um, yeah, and I would never expect to see a Confederate flag in Africa, though. And we know that it's here because somebody else brought it, thought it was cool, let's put this here. But it's really not cool. It's not cool in the U.S. It's definitely not cool to see abroad. But you know what? We're about to rectify this problem right now. as part of the Namibian Wildlife Resort chain. Oh, we're standing at the Hobus campsite in the Namibia Wildlife Reserve. So you stay here, you spend um, like $150 per person per day. Yeah for a park entrance fee. Yeah. And then um, you have a separate campsite. So you can either have a campsite, you can have a chalet. Um, yeah. Not bad. It's not bad. Roads are easy to get to. 
um, well, um, well marked and easily transitions through the desert. So uh, you don't need, simple four wheel drive can do it. Although we did hear that if it's raining, uh, then it could get pretty messy back here. So, you know, whatever that might mean to you. But it's beautiful. The sun is just setting out there. Yeah, very nice. I wish we could be somewhere to see it now. But we are about to go in to have dinner with Anisi. Oh, don't make me lie. And she's from she's uh, from a tribe called Nama. Yes. And we're not far from them. And she is fi fixing us zebra. Zebra. Zebra, y'all. She she had me at zebra as soon as she said it. I was like, yeah, we got to go. Whatever that whatever that's gonna be. Yeah. We have rainbows in Africa. Wow. Wow. So amazing. A sunset rainbow. Never oh knew that one. Oh my goodness. That sunset is so. rainbow. And it's like a bunch of them. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Wow. Oh wow. my goodness. That's amazing. This was our first one. Um, we went to visit I I I would never have thought that camping or relaxing in a pool in a Namibian desert. Would be so totally relaxing. But yeah, that's Fish River over there. I don't know if you can see it. I but, see a hint of it. Yeah. And this whole area is considered very lush right now. And they are looking forward to more rain. Yeah. Uh, as it starts to fill in because, you know, it's really showing the green and the fauna and the biodiversity that is quickly developing in this area. It's pretty amazing. So we're walking over to the hot spring. It's like 65 degrees of water. So yeah, it's scalding. But we're back there and we're looking as we were walking up on it. And it's like, why does this area look so jacked up? And what I recognized was that in some recent point, they've been getting a lot of flooding. And because of that, the river that's like right over there, I think that's Thrish River Canyon, or oh, excuse me, Fish River, is filling up and washing all of this area away. So all of this that's behind me probably was really nice not too long ago. But now, because the water came up over into this area, it completely washed it away. Erosion in it at its finest. So you wanna know what? What? The hot spring, it's really hot. 65 degrees Celsius is hot. Yeah. You should just stick your toe in. Stick your toe in? That's what I did. From right here. From right here. That's that one thing. Ooh, I just touched the concrete. And that was hot. The rail is hot. The rail is hot. Hold on, I'm gonna show y'all this. Ooh, wee. Ooh. Man, that's hot. That water is freaking. Wow. It's hot. Yeah, it's hot. I said, don't jump in. Like, well, I, you don't even need all of that over there. You're not getting into that. I think it's to prevent people from jumping in, though. Oh, okay. I wouldn't even walk around that. What are you doing? I wouldn't this either. This is as far as I would do it. That stuff is hot. Yeah. Glad I got to experience it. 
It's warm. It's just warm over here. Yeah, this whole area. Um, we went to visit I I um, yesterday thunder, at the hot spring. It's thunder. And now I'm morning. We pack up just in time, and we are driving through the desert in a thunderstorm. We have been wanting to be in a thunderstorm, and it's so beautiful because it's changed the landscape so much. Like there is actual water. Like you can see the pan. Dakota, a lot of the pants, because we're getting rain, they'll actually be water in this time. So, which is nice. All the Africa, the effects of global warming, apparently to the locals, they have been really grateful to be getting all of this rain. And they talk about how green it is now. And when we were first driving in, we were looking at it like, man, it's pretty dry. But. Clearly, you can see the shrubbery, but we just didn't know what the land looked like before. Yeah. And to know that they are, like, excited about how green it's looking and how much rain they're getting and Places what that's that going to mean. that the rain has never flowed. Yeah. Yeah. So this is, like, a really exciting time for this area. All right, y'all. We're pretty close to Fish River Canyon, and we are currently at a, Gan a Ganwana uh, Hotel. Uh, these are essentially sort of like overlanding Marriott's, if you will. All of the facilities, all of the things, pool, really good restaurant, great staff, hell of a bar, all of the things that you would expect to see. Uh, it's pretty dope. Uh, we came here to get some money. Uh, we're staying at a camp not too far from here called Hobus. Um, it's in the National Forest, so we wanted to have what that experience was like. And that's what we did. Um, today we are going to be making our way uh, along the western side of Fish River Canyon up into an area called Aus. So AUS. And that'll be that journey. So we'll show y'all some of the roadside, the stops, and the people that we meet along the way. Out. So we just had a conversation with uh, Ronald. He works here about this flag and what it symbolizes in America. And I know that there are a lot of white people out there that feel like that heritage is okay, but for us it is a symbol of hate. And um, it's not something that we would care to really see like that. Yeah, and it's really interesting when we came here, you can see that it has a very Americana feel um, with the with the, the cars. old cars, um, yeah, and I would never expect to see a Confederate flag in Africa, though. And we know that it's here because somebody else brought it, thought it was cool, let's put this here. But it's really not cool. It's not cool in the U.S. It's definitely not cool to see abroad. But you know what? We're about to rectify this problem right now because our African brethren, they understand. And they're as like, soon as you we know, told no them, uh, it's coming down right no now. No problem. Yeah. No problem. Yeah. So, yeah, done. Really? Say it again. Gondwana, it originally means when the planet was just one before, the plates move apart. Yeah. That's what the southern part was called, Gondwana. And oh. in our company, we are very strong about diversity, as you might have noticed. Yes. We have a little bit of everything. So we want... We, we appreciate we you. We that. And we believe it. Yeah. You know, it's just that... Um, Sometimes people in the in their travel, you know, they yeah. they leave a bit of themselves, and sometimes it's not always the best. We have to have a new day, and there's no way that that should be anywhere in any of our travels. No differently than you might look at a Nazi flag and go somewhere and say that you saw that, I would expect that no matter who you were as a person, you would just want that to be taken down because you know that it means something very specific to the Jewish people, Holocaust. So in understanding that, it's the same kind of thing when we see this flag. This is like Holocaust for 300 years for us. So, you know, if you see this when you're traveling, just know, no different. Have the respect for our people. 
out of respect for us. And that was that. And in its place. Feels so much better now. Now we can start our day. It is 11.24. So we are on the struggle bus. We just got going. Just got going. Just got going. But I think we did a good cause. I think we did a good cause this morning because we got a Confederate flag taken down. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, it's a lizard. I haven't seen the lizard in here. A lot of animals. <laughs> Way <laughs> too many. To be for driving. Me to be going that fast. <laughs> Speed bump. <laughs> but when you are in Africa, oh my God, you can truly travel at speed, but you really do need something that you can travel at speed. But you also need to be very conscious. Right. And I told Nakota earlier, we were getting some drone footage. Um, what do you see? What do you see? Um, what are you pointing at? What are you pointing at? I thought, I thought it was like white tails, like right over in here, but it's nothing. So, to my point, we got out. I drove, Nakota stayed, got some drone footage. I was like, Nakota, I couldn't see you. You were a mere speck. <laughs> like. <laughs> It was like I had nothing for A lion you. could be watching us. <laughs> we it not, was a trap. We not gonna be doing that. We not gonna be doing that when we get when we get up north. Yeah. And yeah. We, when the lions, when we get with the lions, we not gonna be doing that. The lions know that's where all the suckers go right. to take a shot. That's if there's gonna be a camera spot, they're gonna get right here, Eddie, and I'll tell you, they're gonna want to take a photo, and when they do. A joke. <laughs> exactly. But the whole point is, it's 11:25. Yeah, we just keep stopping. We have about a five-hour drive ahead of us today. But the problem is, everything's so beautiful. You want to stop? Now understand, we've driven this twice. This is the third time we drove. Um, no, we've already passed the I, I turn, haven't we? No, nowhere near. Oh my gosh. We got like 60K to go. What are you talking about? Okay, so we still got a ways. We've already driven this once out to I Ice Hot Springs, once on the way back, and now again. And again. We can't afford to keep stopping Can't. because we have hours of drive, new drive, new drive ahead of us today. That we heard is epically dope. Oh my gosh. So, it goes all along the river. Yes. And when we say the river, we mean the Fish, Fish River. River Canyon, yeah. um, which is what cut out this canyon, yeah. like the Colorado River cut out the Grand Canyon. And in part, we are witnessing the desert being replenished because um, they are now getting rain, and they haven't gotten rain in for so long that this area that we're passing through um, is like really green and lush. And everyone is like thrilled that they're getting rain. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and, um, Nakota met Overlanders this morning who um, driving a 200 series. Yes. Um, they decided to come and do this trip because they read on the Facebook forums that it was so lush and green. And yeah. Yeah. And they wanted to see. And we yesterday we were thinking that this was barren. Because, you know, we, we just didn't know um, how this was our first time seeing it. But after we were told what this uh, really should look like. They were like, all of this is new. All of it. It's like everything they were seeing is new. Yeah. So now we're like equally and thrilled because now we recognize the significance of these this vast air, uh, area of land and it's all green. And you can see it, like you can see trees that look like they were dying and they're now like sprouting. Yeah. 
You know, yeah. you can see, you can see it. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. yeah, it's beautiful. It's beautiful to see. Yeah. So we're really thrilled about this drive today. So tonight we will be stopping in Aus. Yeah. And um, it's supposed to be cold. It's supposed to be cold. And um, one of the ladies that we met. Yes, Anissa. Anissa is from Aus. So, yeah, she's from the Anama tribe. Right, the Anama tribe. And she said that there's going to be a white horse. Right yeah, they have white horses. So yeah. um, probably tomorrow, just depending on what time we get in on us, it's going to be dark. Yes. But um, tomorrow we will go see the white horses. Right. So we're not going to be able to show y'all anything that is by anything that we've ever seen. Epically dopest <laughs> <laughs> because apparently it gets even doper than what we've already experienced and we have to get to it. So we'll we'll we won't stop as much. We've already done some drone age and it's like we just gotta go. We just gotta go. Yeah. But this is amazing. Thank you to the ladies at Hobus who did our laundry because because of you we had to go back to the row house this morning to get cash and because of that we were there and had breakfast and after breakfast we were checking our email which is when we saw the confederate flag yes. so because we had to do a little extra this morning um, it put us in a place to um, Effect change. Effect change. Effect change. So, and now we have plenty of fresh, clean 